38-year-old Ng Ka Siong is a vessel traffic officer with the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore. He's among the hundred-odd men and women at MPA's Vessel Traffic Management Department, responsible for the navigational safety and protection of Singapore's port waters and the Singapore Straits. A year ago, because of his excellent performance and new competency framework, he was promoted. I'm starting as a Vessel Traffic Officer. So, until today, I'm a senior also advisor. But for my case, actually, uh, we are able to know what are the uh, competency, what are the uh, requirements that we need in order to go to the next level of uh, so-called progression in, in our career so that we can prepare ourselves uh, to chart, chart out our so-called road of advancement or our career. Uh, before this uh, competency framework came out, we are not uh, aware that uh, how far can we go or how long it takes to reach a certain level. The competency framework for the Vessel Traffic Management Department was introduced in late 2012. It maps out the competency, career and wage ladders for Vessel Traffic Officers or VTOs. The competency ladder states the functional competencies required for various positions as well as the amount of training time needed. The career ladder shows the advancement path and the estimated time needed to be considered eligible for progress from one level to another. Reward packages are also spelt out for each level with a minimum-maximum salary ratio set at the recommended 1.5. With this new framework, there is clear visibility of the competencies required at each level, helping staff at each level to be fully equipped to perform the job. For those who aspire to promote to a higher level job, the framework gives clarity to the VTOs to chart their progression through acquiring the necessary competencies. 62-year-old watch supervisor Manjit Singh has been working at MPA for nearly 40 years. He was among those in the committee who helped to develop the competency framework. What happened was, uh, staff for the vessel traffic officers, they came to the union to give feedback that they did not know where they could progress up to and also they wanted to know how to advance further in their career. The Maritime and Port Authority has always placed emphasis on the development of staff uh, in areas of core competency, knowledge um, and also behaviour so that they can perform their staff, uh, their functions. The, the development of the competency and training framework is aligned with the organization's uh, objective of providing knowledge, skills and also behaviours so that staff could provide their uh, full support to the organisation. A working committee spent six months in 2012 working out the details. The process was smooth sailing from there on. There was no real challenges. They were quite receptive. In fact, we work hand in hand with them. There is a very strong working relationship between the union as well as the uh, uh, organisation. In fact, for this particular project, uh, team members uh, were from Vessel Traffic Management and came together and took it upon themselves as a, as a task. And the other uh, where the mo motivation is, is that it, they also help to shape their own future and career progression in that sense. The team then spent time briefing everyone in the department to keep them up to speed with the new framework. Nearly two years on and the VTOs are reaping the rewards of this new competency framework. For 25-year-old Vessel Traffic Officer Atrina Lim, the competency framework gave her a longer-term view of how she could possibly progress, fueling her hope for career advancements. In the past, uh, that when there was insufficient manning, we would just be trained for that station. There was no uh, particular roadmap for us to learn and uh, it was actually quite messy. With this uh, new range of competencies that have been introduced, I find that uh, we are more competent and we are more aware of the job that we are doing now. We are more deployable to uh, more workstations and there's a wider range of exposure. 
I'm very delighted. Yeah, I'm able to uh, to be given a chance to to move up the uh, so-called uh, uh, the ladder. I always believe in training. So uh, with training, we can uh, attain higher higher level of competency. As long as uh, I have a positive mindset, uh, not. Uh, worried about making mistakes because we all learn from mistakes. So that anything, nothing is impossible for me. The competency framework has worked well in MPA. Plans are underway to introduce competency frameworks for the other specialised vocations in MPA, such as the hydrographers, cartographers, port chemists and port inspectors. <laughs>